Hey, welcome to the show. Uh, if you haven't uh, caught it yet, I did do a live stream earlier on Real Progressives on uh, Facebook. Uh, check it out there or uh, check out at the link that I will put in the description below. Because um, I, I have developed a YouTube channel specifically for uh, the real progressive uh, rallies, protests, and uh, other things I do live stream wise for real progressives. So check it out at either uh, place. There are a few people in the news I saw on Yahoo that should never be listened to whatsoever because they both caused or at least facilitated the causation of the 2008 crisis. One is Bill Clinton and the other one is Larry Summers. And a lot of the people who are in the news also from like this person from uh, Morgan Stanley, uh, they kind of helped cause or are causing recessions by, um, because apparently uh, Jay Powell uh, tends to listen to the market and the market uh, likes to have their, um, their interest rates up so they can earn, so they can earn uh, more on money they're not using as far as like um, investments and other and like U.S. Treasuries bonds and stuff of that nature. So, but since the Fed is a net interest payer, they have to find that money somewhere. So what, I, what I've been suspecting that they will do is uh, instead of buying treasuries, uh, mortgage-backed securities and other things like that, they will start selling the ones they have already on their books. So a lot of that, it will, that will facilitate more of, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, I'm still learning in modern monetary theory, but so far from what I've seen, because the, because Congress is not um, passing spending laws and uh, since interest rates tend to try to force people not to take out, take out loans, whether business or expanding business or home loans or, su or stuff like that, uh, I see them having to sell uh, their, uh, their mortgage-backed securities to either BlackRock, Blackstone, or any other um, real estate place out there. Uh, and some may be uh, gone to HUD uh, for, uh, I mean, either uh, for investment opportunities, for upcoming uh, housing that may be built or whatever else the case may be. But I did say, and I've been saying, I just have a feeling that it's going to be 2.8%. Um, I don't know why, just, I do. I just had that feeling. Uh, well, that time will tell because they are, uh, every month they're doing like a uh, basis point up, basis point up, basis point up, like say 5, 50, 25, whatever the case may be. All that stuff is priced in as far as the market itself goes. So basically, I, from what I gather, whatever the stock, whatever the stock price is for a stock, the interest rate price is already uh, is already locked into that price. So sometimes either people will will sell their butts off, meaning that it's a good time to buy because that means that's driving down the cost of. The stocks down, uh, well, you know, uh, low enough for people who may not already be in the market to be able to be in the market, um, and sometimes it drives drives the market up depending on um, depending how far how far the rates go and uh, what's in the overall news because a lot of people who are in the stock market they go by headlines and stuff of that nature and not necessarily fiscal flows or whatever the case may you know uh, news coming from that corporation or news coming from you know, whatever spending bill may be come in, you know, stuff of that nature. But those two people that I mentioned earlier on momentary, uh, moments ago should never be listened to whatsoever. One person should actually be in jail. Um, well, actually, both should be, no, one should be in jail. Um, yeah, Bill Clinton should definitely be in jail as far as, far as that part goes. Um that's just my opinion, obviously, but anyways, him and his wife, uh, Hillary. Um, anyway, so yes, the only way I can see, and I'm very, very partisan to this, uh, the only way to see the economy the way it's supposed to be looked at is through monetary theory. Because 
if you saw the video I put up a couple days ago, I went on to El Randall Ray's um, blog on, uh, oh my gosh, um, not, uh, not Livingston, um, shoot, you can go back, it's, it's, it's on my YouTube channel, um, Levy, I think Levy Institute, uh, he, it was the first one that came out with an idea that I guess that I saw in 98, I think it was, uh, to do a, uh, a just transition program. Many people who are in the gas and oil industry that may be pumping, pumping out, you know, pumping oil out and all this stuff, uh, give them a chance to get out of that and into uh, another line of work for the same uh, price um, or maybe above, depending on how much they actually make now. But anyway. My point being is, if Joe Manchin was taken off of uh, as chair of that committee, if Chuck Schumer was voted out, if Nancy Pelosi was voted out, nothing but uh, true progressives were put in, then the likelihood of a renewed deal would be in place, along with a job guarantee, uh, which would be a just uh, transition uh, from uh, gas and oil and climate change related uh, industries and put into renewables, uh, electric and uh, solar and stuff of that nature and allowing for companies here in the United States to manufacture them at a local price and not worry about having the, you know, the cost of bringing it in from China and other places like that. Uh, that was one of the reasons why I think that Clinton should be in jail because he cost uh, millions of jobs when he allowed corporations to be able to take their business uh, as far as manufacturing out of the United States and into other countries. Well, technically good for those other countries it is not good for their people either the way because the people still may only let way less than what we make as far as their minimum wage. So it was uh, less um, overall cost for the corporation, but they sold it back to us at the same, if not more, than they were uh, selling here. Because when you buy from outside the country, out, you know, outside the states, you have uh, the, the, pl the place that, that uh, produces it uh, from outside uh, has to pay for... Uh, all kinds of taxes as far as bringing that product in. You had the state and local and, you know, just overall cost. It's just, that's why some some places go out of business if they're in the um, import-export business because it costs more to bring or send than it does selling. Uh, so, or uh, than again selling. Anyway, yeah, so that's... Do I think there'll be a recession uh, I, from the video I made uh, last week? If those things keep going, less uh, government spending, uh, rates keep going up, uh, prices keep going up, everything else keeps going up, but the, uh, but the wages uh, stay stagnant or go down in some cases, then the possibility of a recession is, is likelier. And because a lot of people were paying down debt uh, when they got those big uh, government stimulus checks, um, we people are now actually living off of credit. Uh, I suspect it was because home loans have been going up in regards to that. So interest rate heights are, are not actually doing what they, what they were meant to do. And that's usually the case when you have a demand for that kind of stuff. But people are willing to take out credit, personal credit, business credit, or corporate credit, whichever you want to call it, uh, they, they take that out because still, there's still a demand. The uh, interest rates uh, hike were supposed to calm the demand. It never does. It literally never does because the credit demand is always high, no matter what. So that just means that the more people take out, the more the feds make and interest, uh, receive interest payments as far as the bar goes. But the good thing about that is that then it goes back to the treasury once, you know, every six months. Um, and that is a benefit to the intergovernmental agencies, Social Security, uh, state and government pensions, um, bonds and other interest rates, stuff like that. So anyway, that's pretty much all I've got to say as far as that part goes. Uh, secondly, I 
just heard that Biden had uh, signed in a uh, or signed a um, a bill that would be helping, supposedly helping uh, to uh, make it fairer as far as uh, imports. Um, let's see. This is this is that uh, that bill he signed apparently, uh, or you know the the details of involved in it. Uh, shipping exchange registry in general, no person may operate a shipping exchange involve, involving ocean trans transportation in the foreign uh, commerce in the United States unless the shipping exchange is registered as a national shipping exchange under the terms and, con and conditions give uh, conditions provided in this section and the reg and the regulations issued pursuant in this section. Let's see. Oops. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's see. So registration, a person shall register a shipping exchange by filling, uh, filing, excuse me, with the federal maritime commission, uh, an application for registration in such form as the commission, uh, by rule may prescribe containing the rules of the exchange and such other information and documents as the commission may rule, may prescribe as necessary or appropriate to complete a shipping exchange registration exemption. The commission may exempt conditionally or unconditionally a shipping exchange from registration under the section if the commission funds or fines, excuse me, that the shipping exchange uh, is subject to comparable comprehensive uh, supervisions and yeah, supervision and regulation by the appropriate governmental authority in the foreign country where the uh, shipping exchange is headquartered. So let's see. Now, yes, depending on the country, there may be a, a, an exemption. So is this? I'm guessing this is their way of trying to uh, lift this, lift the sanctions. From China, Canada, other and other places like that. I'm guessing. I don't know. Otherwise, uh, let's see. Regulations not later than three years after the date of enactment of the Ocean Shipment Reform Act of this year. The Commission shall uh, issue regulations pursuant to sub uh, to uh, subsection A, which shall set standards necessary to carry out a subtle. Uh, four of this title for registered national uh, shipping exchange for consideration of a service contract entered into by a shipping exchange. The commission shall be limited to the minimum essential terms for service contracts established under section 40502 of this title. Let's see definition of shipment exchange. This uh, in this section, the term shipping exchange means a platform, a digital uh, over the counter or otherwise, that connects shippers with common carry uh, carriers for the purpose of entering into underlying agreements or contracts with the company. Or sorry, for the transport of cargo by vessel or other modes of transportation. Uh, apl applicability. The registration requires under Section 40504 of Title 46, United States Code, as added by subsection A, shall take effect on the date of which Federal Maritime Commission states a rule is effective in the regulations issued un uh, under such section. Clerical amendment. The analysis for Analysis for ch uh, Chapter 405 of Title 46, United States Code, is amended by adding uh, uh, at the end of the following. Prohibition on retali uh, retaliation, okay. Um, section 41102 of the Title 46, United States Code, is amended by, added, by added, adding at the end of the following. Retaliation and other discriminatory actions. A common carrier, maritime, a merry terminal operator, or ocean transportation inter, uh, intermediary, acting alone or in conjunction with, you know, conjunction, excuse me, with uh, any other person directly or uh, indirectly, may not retaliate against a shipper and an agent of a shipper, an ocean transportation intermediary, 
or a uh, motor carrier by refusing or threatening to refuse an otherwise available cargo space uh, accommodation or resort to resort to any other unfair, unjustly discriminatory action for uh, either reason uh, that sh uh, shipper 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 uh, an agent of a shipper uh, on an ocean transportation media uh, intermediary or motor carrier has pa uh, patronized uh, another carrier or filed a complaint against a common carrier marine terminal uh, terminal operator or ocean transportation intermediary or any other reason. Okay, so let's see common areas. And the, um, and the matter proceeding paragraph. Okay. Da, da, da. Anyways, you guys read the rest um, at congress.gov slash bill, blah, blah, blah. I will put uh, this in, uh, uh, in the uh, description below as well if you want to go back and read it. Anyway, that's pretty much what I got so far. Um, so basically from what it looks like is, I guess that's their way of lifting sanctions um, to a certain degree. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, tell me in the comments uh, below if you understand what that means. Um, but I figure I at least I read at least a few things off it. Anyway, um, I will be doing a my opinion on wrestling news. Uh, coming up next uh yeah that's pretty much my graph today uh thanks for watching um subscribe to this channel uh subscribe to the channel that i'll be putting down below in the description um and also uh check out progressives.org um donate volunteer uh share uh comment uh stuff of that nature anyway you guys have a good day and i'll talk to you soon